Right. Okay. Um, it's 6.30, we'll call Sawyer County Public Works meeting to order. Ask the clerk to call a roll, please. Ron Kinsley. Here. Mark Helwig. Here. Randy Newman. Here. Chuck Van Etten. Here. Brian Bisnett. You have a quorum. Thank you. Next item is Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Thank you. Number four, certification compliance open meeting laws. This meeting has been noticed to the public and news media as required by section 19.84 of the Wisconsin statutes. Thank you. Number five, meeting agenda. The agenda is set. Number six, public comment. Anybody wish to speak to the committee? We ask that you state your name and address and try to keep it to about three minutes. Anybody? Well, yeah to see if, there, if you can tell us anything that's going on in their plan, an update in the plan, just just r roughly. Are they, did, are, are they still picking a plan that's within the plan they had? Like we'll, we'll cover that when we get to that, best we can. Um, is anybody online? Okay. Number seven, approve the minutes of the previous meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second it. Motion by Mr. Howick, second by Mr. Newman to approve the minutes as presented. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Number eight, maintenance department report. Mr. Tim Hagberg put together a report for us. If you had a chance to review it, anybody have any questions regarding his report? Hearing none, we'll move on to number nine. Do we know if Mr. Leslie's showing up? No. Okay. All right. Um, Can you put his report up on the... Yeah, Derek is ill. Family, his family's ill, it sounds like. So, um, so him and I did catch up. He did put a report in late today. Um, and currently, my eyesight isn't what it used to be. I can't, I got to pull it up on my computer here. Yeah, of course, it's uh, been busy out at the airport. Um, he notes in here that we're losing our uh, engineer or our BOA contact, which happens more and more often. It seems they turn over fairly quickly. The downside of that is it just delays things we're in conversations on until they appoint us a new one. We are getting back at uh, Matt Messina as our interim, so that's good. Matt's familiar with our airport. Um, other things in here, Derek points out that uh, one of the FPO, his FPO employees uh, received a challenge coin from one of the NetJets pilots. So if you're not familiar, NetJets is like the largest private charter company. We see a lot of activity in the summertime from people flying in. So that's a, uh, in, in that world, that's a fairly big deal when they give you one of those coins. They're only allocated a couple of those a year. Um, we don't have the bids on the runway rehabilitation project yet. The state does have them and the state's reviewing those. And we should be hearing um, who gets awarded that contract, I would expect, in the next month. Um, there was the question on the master plan. Honestly, I have not had any conversations with Kaufman in months on the master plan. So I don't know where that, that's actually a good question. I'll check on that to get a date and see where that is. Cause yeah, we had said September, eventually October, and we're already getting close to September uh, disappointingly. Um, so I'll follow up on that to see when we're going to schedule uh, the next um, public meeting in the advisory or um, working group meeting. Um, I know Derek's happy that the grass mowing slowed down at the airport um, this month, last month. Um, so the Air Patrol fundraiser went well. Uh, they rounded out some improvements at the terminal building. And um, we did meet, I don't know if we, when this was before or after our last public works meeting, but Derek and I did meet with the Bureau of Aeronautics and our consultant there to go through our projects um, as far as using our bill money and uh, potential for snow removal equipment. I'll just, you know, add a little comment on the snow removal equipment. That's going to be a significant conversation just from an operational standpoint. Historically, 
the county has contracted with a third party to do the snow removal. We lost, and that was Thompson for many years, and I think that was a good situation. Um, we did switch contractors when Thompson went out of business last year. We gave a two-year commitment, but just based on how last year went with the minimal snow we had, and they do, they do a fine job, but at some point we have to look at how much it costs us for them to do that job and consider whether we want to bring snow removal in-house and have more of our own equipment using our uh, FAA entitlement funds um, and then either have uh, LTE staff or contract with Hayward Aviation to run it. That's something we're going to look at over the next year to, to do some of that work, more of that work ourselves, or even actually um, the highway department, I think. You know, some counties do use the highway department to plow runways. I think we'll put that on the table as well. We have such a good working relationship. I mean, in all seriousness, highways come out and helped us at the airport already with the, the new commissioner, which has been really good for us. And I think good for them too. So anytime we can pay our own internal services monies, it's, it's better for us. So, but we did just open the conversation with Bureau about, okay, if, if, well, we know, we, we know we need a new snowblower, um, but we want to make sure whatever snowblower we can get is adequate. And does that mean we need a bigger end loader to put it on is kind of the, the direction of the conversation. Thank you. Does that answer the questions that we know to this date? Okay. Yep. Yeah, I looked, I took a quick look at the website too. There's no updates. They haven't put anything on there. So that's all I know right now. Okay. Thank you, Andy. Um, so did he, did um, Mr. Leslie put together anything for a contract that you've seen? No, we talked about that today. Um, I told him, you know, we put it on in case he wanted. We know we're at the point where he wants to maintain or continue on his airport management. I'd like to work out a contract with him, so he's going to um, put together. I mean, we've talked that there's not going to be a lot of changes to the structure of the contract, but we might look at uh, we're, we're, this year already we added an amendment, like a contract for him to do the mowing since we lost our part-time help, but we might open one up those for snow plowing. Sure. If they need to do some, um, we left a truck out there this last year for snow plowing. They can do some cleanup work after the heavy equipment goes through. So we're looking at some tweaks in that area, which would affect the pay. But uh, other than that, we're not talking about any big material changes to the contract. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? Okay. Number 10, Highway Commissioner's Report. Mr. Pinnell. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we've been really busy at the highway department this last month. Um, we completed all the culvert patches on County Road C, and most of them are done on D. We're hoping to finish them this week if it doesn't rain tomorrow. Um, still looking probably around middle of September for paving that. Still waiting to hear from Monarch when they will actually be setting in the pit. Um, paving and shouldering was completed on County Road E, and that work was from Mission Road to Jonan's Road. And then also the intersection of N up to where that new joint is where it washed out a couple years ago. And then we continued our shoulder operations all the way down to 2770. Um, mowing, um, we're done. It's, we finished state actually today. Um, and we're over probably halfway down with the county. We're on County Road F right now on by CIS Road. Should be to 2770 by tomorrow. And then we'll move into um, KE double NH and everything around town here. So we should have that wrapped up pretty soon. Um, we did have the County C bridge update. The pre-con was held at the highway department uh, last week. Work's gonna start Monday with a completion date of November 6th. Um, the county is providing a local traffic detour um, down there, which we will close that bridge starting Monday morning. And then we also let the ATV Alliance know for the reroute of the ATV trail. Um, they've been notified. Um, we're also in the process of crack sealing here on uh, 63 from Washburn to Florida Ave. Um, I'd like to thank the Sheriff's Department because they've been provi uh, providing extra patrol because it's been really busy with traffic up there for us. So keeping us safe out there. We uh, did the scrub seal in Exland um, from State Highway 40 to Copley Road. We did um, that on Monday. Was down there today, swept it, and then we'll come back the week of the 19th and seal it. So that'll be completed the week of the 19th. Um, we've also been brushing and shouldering, you know, problem areas throughout the county, and we'll continue to be doing that throughout the fall. 
Um, I did get approved for change management for the County B project, the Chippewa Trail of Four Lanes of Traffic, because um, originally when that um, was out for bid or whatever, they didn't include the curb head. So we got change management to include the curb head now and fix the existing curb head where it's cracked and everything that got approved last week. And I also got approved for change management on the CC bridge. I'm just waiting for the two new SMAs um, to add into the budget because it's going to be a little bit of cost increase to the county. Um, they're going to extend the approach on the CC bridge next year when they redeck it. Um, I've also got two estimates submitted to the town of Round Lake for crack sealing Moose Lake Road from Fire Lane 319 to County Road S. And then I will submit the, uh, I've been in work talking with town of Couturier. They have eight culvert patches. They gave me the go ahead to do them, but I wanted to make sure I submitted a number before we just go do them and they get a bill. So um, that'll be submitted to them tomorrow. Um, then also we got a, the water truck that's been sitting for the past couple of years. We got up and running, runs great. We've been using it on E uh, for filling our rollers and stuff like that. We're all, we also used it down in Exland now on state. So um, we're also looking at um, putting a Brian spray bar on it. And we're going to try to see what the cost is difference this winter using it on state. We're able to buy Brian from Washburn uh, 50 cents a gallon for the bead heat mix or straight buying would be about 30 cents a gallon. So we're going to try that and see how much cost savings we have this winter. Um, other than that, gravel crushing started in the Hydus pit. Uh, we're fully staffed. Uh, we did have a tractor incident rollover two weeks ago down on 2770 just uh, by Fleming, by Billy Boy. And we had rolled a, one of our John Deere tractors over. The employee was fine. Nobody got hurt. I just received the estimate back today on it in about $64,000 in damage. So I submitted that to our insurance today also. Um, we have replacement, full replacement on that. We'll see what happens there. Um, the ARIP funding is out now. I do have letters of support from LP here in Hayward, excellent feed mill. I talked to a couple big farmers around the area. Um, they weren't able to give me a letter of support because they don't use that route of County Road C that often. So but I got some good support letters on that, um, continuing on that application. And then the only other couple things is um, Derek had reached out. We got some airport mowing to do out there once we get done uh, mowing on County. Um, tower Road, we took over to help maintenance out the mowing of the tower and around the building up there. So we did that for them. And then also um, Tim had reached out about the loader at the airport if we could service that for him. So um, and that's all I got. So what happened with the roller? Did it get it too far on an angle? He or? got too much of an angle and the grass was tall. So he was mowing grass and yep. Yeah, with the flail mower, so he didn't have the boom and it just oh, okay. boom would have stopped him, maybe. Yeah, boom would have caught him. Unfortunately, things happen. Nobody got hurt. Any other questions? For okay. Letter B. <clears throat> A resolution. Who wants to handle that? You or Gary? Or Tim? Gary? Tim. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> um, there we go. So this is a... Oh, how do you say? It? It's one of these resolutions we pass because... In order to um, receive funding, we have to have this recorded and on file. So this is the template resolution that they provide us that we endorse the Safe Streets for All initiative, uh, an aspirational initiative to achieve zero traffic-related deaths or serious injuries in the county of Sawyer. Um, so that's, I mean, I don't know if John wants to explain what it gets us, but. Yeah, this is just something we have to have on file. It's kind of a mission statement that, um, Russ County, Washburn, LCO, and Sawyer all put together. You know, our goal is to um, have zero deaths or serious injuries on county roads by the year 2030. Um, and again, we're we're just in the early stages of this, but it's going to hopefully open us up to um, a lot more opportunities for funding. So they're, they're working on it now. We have our next meeting. I think our second meeting is going to be next week, I believe. So, Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. Resolution of the Surrey County and Surrey County Highway Department endorsing the Safe Streets for All initiative. Motion by Mr. Helwig, second by Mr. 
Bennett. Mm -hmm. Is there something you want to add? No. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All side committee updates. People on other committees, outside committees, anything you want to share with this committee or later to the county board at this time? Well, that takes care of that. I, I know Randy reported on this this morning, but you were at Nor the NORTAC meeting. Oh, yeah, I can. I guess I'd talk about the NORTAC meeting. The big thing they're talking about is the ORB money that's out there. And um, the money guy for NORTAC was saying that he wants to see um, a little tightening up of the funding. Because right now they just awarded, um, which he voted no, but a $1.3 million campground. I can't remember what county it was going to. And it wasn't even on the ATV trail. It says as long as it's in proximity of an ATV trail. Well, so the they, there's no quote-unquote distance, so it says proximity. So he wasn't happy about that. Um, they are going to try to go back and lobby to get a bunch of money released that sits idle because they're only capped at so much they're allowed to spend on funding and projects throughout a given year. So they, they figure they got about like $7 million sitting in a state account that they can't touch right now. So they're trying to get legislators to allow them to bring that out to get it used and put it towards stuff. Same way with the Snowmobile Council, they got the same thing. They got uh, over budget amount of money they can't touch because it's written in the same way in the legislation. Um, a big thing they're pushing for, and I know that's going to be statewide, is um, bridge issues, both um, aging bridges and um, underweight bridges for a lot of the agencies are buying bigger and bigger equipment and they're not, they're going on overweight issues on some of these bridges. So they're going to start looking at that big too. So, so this, these monies are for, uh, you say ORVs, over the road vehicles? Like? So they're, or, well, it's the off road vehicle. Off -road. Um, but it's, you know, to, um, they're trying to get it to help like redo these bridges fund projects for gravel and safety issues throughout the state, you know, um, fixed trails that have safety issues in them. So right now they got like for the next year, they got close to 8 million, I didn't bring it in with me, but $8 million worth of requests. And they only got like about $5 million in the count. But they can't release the money. They can't release the money right now because it's tied up through legislation. So they got to get representatives to allow to open that up to be able to release that money. So that's about where it's at right now. So thank you for sharing. Yep. Do you have something you want to add? Yeah, not so much add to that, but well, two things maybe I can add. One, uh, uh, the commissioner is so busy, he leaves out important things. I just want you know, give him accommodation for appearing with the TGB. Oh, yes. And uh, you know, building our relationship with them, I think. That was a good invite, and uh, from what the commissioner shared, it went well. Let me cut in, if I may. Let's go back to the commissioner's report. Tell us about that meeting a little bit, please. That you yeah. have with the tribal members. Yeah, it was a it was a good meeting. Um, there's there's opportunities to work together with uh, and get secure funding together. Um, they invited me in. Um, we had a really good talk. We talked about roads, brushing, um, things that they like what we're doing now, things they'd like to see more of. I mean, it was overall, it was a really good meeting. Spent about 40 minutes with them. So. The agenda he showed me, they allowed him 15 minutes, but he got past that, so I was proud of him. Yeah, they were, <laughs> we, had, we had good conversations. And um, at the end of the meeting, they um, wanted to meet quarterly, so they were going to schedule uh, for me to come down there quarterly and have one meeting. So good. that's a good way to get things started or connect to what we used to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. And then the other uh, outside committee that uh, I was with, with John, we attended the Surrey County unit meeting for the towns. They had time on the agenda for the commissioner to make a presentation on upcoming road projects. Uh, he highlighted some of the work they had done. And I'd say that they, they take notice. They've noticed some of the work that's been done and, or responding to the quality of it. 
And then also he made the pitch that Dave did work. We've done work for the town of Hunter now and have some upcoming, or I don't know if it's been, the town of Round Lake has reached out, town of Couture. We do have the Couture work and I just wait to get back if they approve our work. Yep. So that's kind of a big deal. You know, the, the county highway department here has not traditionally done a lot of work for towns. It's something we can do, and it helps bring it helps um, build revenue from another source. I mean, at some point, if we have too much of that work, we will have to look at or expanding workforce. But we'll be able to expand workforce because we have revenue coming in to do that, and it helps pay for our equipment and administration as well. Yeah, and just to add that um, we've also picked up work for the ATV Alliance this year. We've done some work for them. We got some more work to do for them yet this year. Uh, the DNR has reached out. We've done some tree cutting for the DNR, um, sign installation. So it's quite a bit of stuff's picking up. Yeah. Cool. I just want to give John and the uh, Highway Commission area that uh, kudos on the fine job you did on Highway 77. Yeah. That was the state, but we'll take it. <laughs> Have you been on E yet? <laughs> we got one one little. We had one little hiccup down there. We got to fix, but it's a it's a new crew. You know, we're we're we had a big turnover, so it's a new crew. You know, um, but we're getting the hang of it. I know. I really need that. <laughs> I need it bad. No. <laughs> he's he's put in his request, but. Uh... Our CIP budget for next year is already busting or has busted <laughs> potentially. <laughs> um, I cleaned up that list that you asked me that right. urgently needed. So, um, and I don't know, I guess I kind of missed going through the maintenance report. Just want to highlight them as well. Um, like, like the highway department, it really helps when we have full, full crews. So we have full staff and maintenance and highway. So we are getting things done. So if you've Tim put some pictures in here of, uh, some of the projects they've done, um, they're working out down at the DA's office today. They've got that window in, they've taken out the interior. Like if you've been in there, there was like a walk in the door and there was like a little lobby that's come out. So that opens up some of their space and the public will use that window that's in the hallway. Um, we're contracted with barefoot painters. They've had a crew here for the last week, starting to, starting to see the second coat on second coat in some places on the building. That, that's really um sprucing it up, but also should protect it for however many more years. Um, and then the next projects will be Clicker Court, another security project there. Um, so things are things are getting done and they're keeping up on all the other day-to-day -day stuff. Good. I just also wanted to mention, uh, we don't say it enough, our new patrol sloop, Tim Meyer, has done an excellent job out there. I mean, he's hands-on with the guys. I mean, he was even down an excellent today sweeping and helping the guys. So he's been doing a great job. It's made our life a lot easier. Makes everybody's life a lot yeah. easier. <laughs> no, I, I feel fortunate. I feel fortunate that all three departments that we cover on this committee, I think do an absolutely excellent job. Sure, yeah. so they just, as long as I'm plugging all the guys, I'll plug Derek as well. Yeah, that's what I say. I mean, well, sometimes well. he gets other duties as assigned. So he sent me a text message a couple of Sundays ago, like at noon saying, hey, plane crashed. You might hear about this. I'm on my way to, <laughs> yeah. to go check it out. And really it didn't hit the news for right. two days later, but they called him down to help the sheriff's department. Know, you know, literally the guy put his plane down in the field. First person he called was Derek because he walked away from the crash and said, you know, well, what do I do? We'll call 911. And Derek went down and called the FAA for the sheriff's department. And it's kind of assisted helping that. That's a pilot. That's a frequent user of our airport and, has businesses here helped him navigate what to do. I mean, it was, it was not a small plane either. No, it was a Malibu. It was a Malibu, yeah. so. It was what? A Malibu, Piper Malibu. So not necessarily in his contract, but he, he handled it. Put in the field and tone around, it's enough where we're going. All right, um, future agenda items. Well, I want to be looking at the contract that they have at the airport because it's, Due to be renewed soon, I'm not sure exact date, November. November. So it gives us time to negotiate through whatever we have to do. And uh, I like the reports that the commissioner gives us, and I like the reports that Mr. Hagberg gives us. Anybody have anything else? Yes. I got one more thing I forgot to add. We did install new dog pound signs for the pound today. So they're up on 63. So okay. <laughs> you get a lot done. All right. Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Appreciate everybody. <laughs>